Hey guys, how's it going? It's AP Derek. Today we're gonna check out Felix the Reaper on the Nintendo Switch. It's kind of an interesting puzzle game that has like weird Tim Burton-y like characters and stuff. It's kind of hard to explain, but you use like shadows and stuff like that in order to uh, control the environment. I'm gonna play through like the first handful of levels just to show you guys how the game works. It's honestly kind of weird. <laughs> like, I don't know. I. I I, I had a catchy name, and his premise looks all right, but it's really, really weird. Um, so we're going to go ahead. This is the start of the game. So this is Felix the Reaper. It's teaching you the basics. You know, you get to this point. He has, like, headphones, too, and he, like, dances and stuff like that. It's kind of awkward if I'm going to if I'm gonna say anything. But you can only stay in the shadows. You can only move in the shadows of the character. So... You're going to see it's going to start showing you different stuff and how you're supposed to maneuver around and stuff like that. So see, right now, I'm still in the shadows of the objects, so I'm able to maneuver. But now, you're able to do the sundial stuff. So here we go. So pushing R moves it around. So you can see if you're not in the sun, you kind of get hurt. So now... Um, the, the the tutorial kind of loosely teaches you how to you know move stuff around so i have this mortal and i have to hold x and move the dude to this spot but i can't do it until i get close enough so what we have to do is we have to move the character around until we get to a decent spot so we are going Where's I'm holding X? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna move my character over this way and uh, switch it around. See, I'm still in the shadow. We're gonna move over here, and then we're going to hold X so we can move the guy right there. And then it has like all this fancy dancing. It's kind of like a weird, morbid. Tim Burtony, uh, Toe Jam and Earl. They even have like an elevator. Now let's see what um, so yeah, that was the first level kind of. It showed you a little bit of the mechanics and stuff. It's it's kind of strange. I, I don't know how to explain it, um, but it is like a puzzle platforming type of game. Um, is it my jam? Um, for what I've played, it's okay. I, I, I don't think it's particularly my favorite type of game, but I know that there's people out there who... Who dig stuff like this um, you know it's nice to go out of the comfort zone a little bit sometimes so I just started a brand new game by the way so I could show you guys some of the early stages and things like that and if you want to play you go in thinking blind you don't have any kind of uh, interruption so we're gonna go um, that was a tutorial now we're going to go to level two which it's assignment two: kill the deer and this is gonna introduce like um, a like a cart with a deer and stuff like that you'll see in a minute and uh the loading kind of takes a little while on this game too um i try not to be too particular about loading screens in games but sometimes loading screens do turn me off from certain games like lego city undercover on the wii u um, but here we go so we're gonna kill the deer now um so you can see there's the deer on the end so what we need to do is we need to move the deer from spot A to spot B uh, carefully. So the idea is you figure out, and the mode I'm playing doesn't really penalize you too much for accidentally getting in the, in the out of the shadow, but you're gonna see, you kind of have to figure out where your character moves. So you gauge based on where stuff is on screen. So you can see this tree on the bottom, I'm gonna move to this spot. Because when I move the sundial, see, I stay in the the shade. So we're gonna come down over here. We're gonna move it, and we're gonna come grab this dude. We got the deer, and then we're gonna come back around, circle up, come around again, circle up, come around, and do -si do our way. Nobody puts Felix in the corner. There's a lot of different pop culture references and stuff in this game as well. 
You know, he does funny dances, quote stuff. Um, it's kind of, it's weird, honestly. <laughs> but uh, there's other characters, like you see all the other stuff on the screen you can interact with as well. The more that you progress, the more like different types of challenges and stuff pop up in the stage. So here we go. We're going to move to the other one. Look at that. He's killing the deer. Boom. Right in the jaw. Look at that. That is so violent. So now we're going to hang the um, the head of the deer in a certain work. part of the stage. Look at these artwork. Like, that's one thing that really turned me it. to this game this was the artwork. Um, really I do think it adds a lot of personality. Uh, I'm a sucker for atmosphere and stuff like that. So now we're going to open this. There's going to be like a switch that does like moves like the cart itself and things like that. So more and more progressively... The game adds more puzzle elements, and it it could it does get pretty in depth, which is really good. Uh, I'm still kind of like on the fence when it comes to this game overall, but it's not bad by any means. I think uh, it's actually quite um, quite well done, actually. Like, look at this. Give me a little cutscenes and stuff, showing you the characters, giving you like a little preview of the level. So we have to get that mount that deer head so there's a deer head over here this deer head we got a mount onto this right here so we're going to take advantage of the item so this is a switch right here that moves the deer and we're going to come over here work it rupaul style come and get the uh the deer head mount it come back around it's honestly not too difficult. It still plays it a little safe right now. But, you know, the experience is figuring out what to do, honestly. So we're going to come right here. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, let's just come over here real quick so we don't screw up. Yeah, okay, we're good. So we're going to come over here, get in the shade. There's blood on the dance floor. And we're going to uh, put this sucker where it belongs. So we got moves to die for. See, not not too difficult. And now everybody's happy. We got a mounted deer head, right? Moving it on down. There we go. Objective registered as fulfilled. And it kind of gives you a score. Uh, I'm playing kind of on, I guess, a mode that's not punishing me, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, it's it's whatever you want to make out of it with this game, honestly. I, I think, um, you know, I, I I actually personally never heard of this game until I was uh, sent a code for this. So I was like, you know what, let's check it out. Felix the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper like Blue Oyster Cult says. Am I right or am I right? So here we go. We're going to continue on. Let's move forward. Now, building up on the stage that we were at. This one's a little tricky. This one gave me a little bit of time, a little bit of trouble. But we'll see if we can figure it out. We got some stuff going on in the stage. So we're going to move the beer. That's nice. I like beer. I like turtles. Okay, so the beer, we're going to move it. Because my homie is freshly out. You see this? It's a problem. My homie's out. So, I don't even think I can grab it yet. We're going to go back. So, we got to use the switch. And we got to come over here. We're going to grab the beer. Let's come open this. Move. There we go. Nobody puts Felix in the corner. I already heard that. Give me a new catchphrase. Okay. Um, come out to this tree. And I think we're good to go. Um, nope. Can I move this? Okay, so I'm going to have to shadow preview. Hold L and type tap R. So shadow preview. Okay, so. Shadow preview. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna place this down and we'll figure out. Oh, I can't do that. Let's put this dude here. We'll check the shadow preview. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move back over here. Let's move the horse carriage back to where it was at. And then we'll move over here. And I think what we'll do is we'll move that sucker a little bit further back. So I think we still can. All right, so we'll move Homeboy right here. We'll back it up, back, back, back it up. Uh, hmm. Is there anything else I can interact with? Possibly. Maybe. Nope. Uh-uh. Okay. So we'll drop that dude in. We'll come around. Uh, we'll grab him. Can I leave it right here? Oh, there we go. All right. Figured it out. I'm not as dumb. As I might look. Well, I'm just saying. We're going to take the beard of homeboy over here. And we are going to make his day. It's all he wanted, right? Who doesn't want some beer? Enjoy, my friend. Did we do it? I think we got it. Did he not? Did homie not get his beer? right here right there we go all right so <laughs> you guys get the general idea felix the reaper pretty wacky little platform and puzzle game I, I think it's actually not too bad you might want to check it out yourself comment down below let me know what you think of this game if you think you're going to check it out if you like this video click like and i'll see you on the next one have a great day peace out consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.